Have you ever engaged in a serious debate over which is better, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Have you ever played Smash or Pass using only characters from Star Wars and Marvel movies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, we have the podcast for you. Listen to the Steam Gentleman, the podcast where an expert panel convenes to ask the questions about pop culture and social commentary that other podcasts are afraid to ask. Listen to the Steam Gentleman on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, Wrestling Fans International Association is back. That's right, the premier fan club association of the 1970s and 1980s has been revived and is back in business. Join today. It's free at the WFIA.org. That's T H E W F I A.org. You can also join us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash groups slash WFIA 1969. Welcome back, everybody, to the 1987 Super Mod. I am your host, Brad Drake, and this is the World Wrestling Federation, and we are recording, everybody, an episode here of the WWF from Boston Garden, and we are going to be live and in living color on Nessun. That's right, I got that pronunciation proper. It is Nessun. That's the Northeast Sports Network still in existence today. Let's take a look at our absent workers and nothing but what we expect. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our backstage incidents. Uh Uh-oh, Scott Casey got himself in some trouble here with Bruno San Martino. And Bruno San Martino says he is to pay the full cost and reimburse his travel partners after not pitching in his fair share of the rental car. Scott Casey has the scumbag personality. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Rip Oliver's got himself in trouble here with Bruno San Martino also, and he didn't join everybody for the night out, so he's got to buy drinks for everybody. Fair enough. All right, up next here, Strongbow and Mancini doing their thing in their protege relationship. Steamboat and Scotty Williams also in their protege relationship, and Jesse Ventura and Dave Wagner are doing their thing. All right, let's take a look at our card for tonight, everybody. And this is the real card, everybody. This is the exact real card, except for Omar Atlas against One Man Gang, and that's because Shadow Number 2, also known as Jose Luis Rivera, did double duty that night, and uh, we're not going to do that in the game here. So here we go. We are going to see three dark matches. We're going to see Paul Roma, Jim Powers, and One Man Gang featured. We're going to see Jerry Allen versus Cowboy Bob Orton in the opener. Scott Casey is going to battle Dino Bravo. We're going to see Johnny V against Brutus Beefcake as they continue their feud. Tito Santana is going to battle the Magnificent Morocco. Uh, We're going to see Rick Martell and Junkyard Dog against the Islanders. Now, we're actually recording this a little bit ahead of time, and this is because when we recorded this, Tom Zank had wigged out already. You know what? We can change this to Can-Am Connection. Let's go with the Islanders versus the Can-Am Connection because technically, boy, I butchered Islanders there, didn't I? Tom Zink had not wigged out yet, so we'll put an asterisk there to show that it's not truly accurate, but it's as close as it can be. The main event, everybody, is Bruno San Martino challenging the Honky Talk Man for that Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. We're going to see a promo from Hulk Hogan here. We're going to see a promo from the Honky Talk Man, and we are going to see another promo from Bruno San Martino. All right, let's get our commentators set for this one. Gorilla Monsoon and Lord Alfred Hayes, and Gorilla Monsoon will do... All of our stick work. Okay, so we have a dark match opening things up here. And it is going to be shadow number one. Let's get that set. 
Shadow number one against Paul Roma. So here we go, Shadow. And we've got to indicate dark here. Shadow number one versus Roma. This one's a pre-show. And of course we have Gorilla Monsoon, Lord Alfred Hayes, and their partner of none. So we have Shadow number one here. And here is Paul Roma. This one's booked. We have Paul Roma getting the win here. Pre-show all set. All right, up next, we have our second dark match. And we have Gorilla Monsoon, Lord Alfred Hayes, and none. And we have Shadow, number two, versus Jim Powers. So here is Shadow, number two. And here is Jimmy Powers. And once again, everybody, this is the real card, except for what we've already pointed out. So Jimmy Powers, of course, is going to get the win here. And next, we have our last dark match here. And this one is going to be Atlas versus One Man Gang. And as I said before, we changed this over from Jose Luis Rivera, who's already on the card as Shadow Number Two. So we have, oh, One Man Gang is here, and we have Omar Atlas right ahead of him. And here we go. The gang is going to get the win here. And there you have it. Gang with the win. All right, we're moving on to our regular card now, everybody. Jerry Allen against Bob Orton. They're going to go five, I'm sorry, eight minutes. Allen versus Orton. And we have Monsoon, Hayes, and their partner of none. Here we go. Here is Jerry Allen. And I'm drawing a blank of who he's wrestling, and it's Bob Orton. <laughs> That's what happens when you hit your 40s, everybody. You start randomly forgetting stuff. All right, Bob Orton Jr. is going to get the win here, of course. This one is in the books. And there we go. We got this fixed. All set there. All right, up next, we got that big Hulk Hogan promo. And the stick man, of course, is going to be Gorilla Monsoon, so we have to have none there. None. Hulk Hogan cuts a promo. And Hulk Hogan, of course, is not in a feud with anybody at this time, so he's just going to cut an open promo. And Gorilla Monsoon is his stick man. All right, entertainment. This one should get a huge score since Hogan is huge in the Boston area. Up next, we have Casey. Scott Casey, that is very good wrestler, but apparently a very big pain in the ass, and he is going to face Dino Bravo here. So here is Scott Casey. Here is Dino Bravo. And we have Gorilla Monsoon, Lord Alfred Hayes, and their partner of none. And of course, Dino Bravo is going to get the win here, everybody. Up next, we have Johnny V and Brutus Beefcake, and they're going to go 10. And we have Johnny V here, who was a very, very good wrestler in his day. He's at the very end of his career here. Here is Brutus Beefcake, and we have Gorilla Monsoon, Lord Alfred Hayes, and none. And of course, Brutus Beefcake is going to get the win. This mini feud continues. Up next, we have a Honky Tonk Man promo. Honky Tonk Man cuts a promo. And we have none. We have Lord Alfred Hayes. We have none. Here we go. We have Honky Tonk Man. And he's talking to Gorilla Monsoon. And he's talking about Bruno San Martino here tonight. And of course, he's also going to be talking about his feud mate here, which is Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Picked the wrong guy there. There's Steamboat. Off screen, off screen. Based on entertainment. This one 
everybody is all set. That should get a pretty good score also. Next, we have Tito Santana and the Magnificent Morocco. How long are they going here? 12. We have Santana versus Morocco. Now, I do keep the real cards, but I don't keep the real results. Here is Magnificent Morocco. And Gorilla Monsoon, Lord Alfred Hayes, and none. And let's check to see. Dino Bravo's getting the win. Beefcake's getting the win. Orton's getting the win. We're going to have Tito Santana win this one. But we're going to do it by DQ. All right. That one's all set. Up next here, we have the Islanders and the Can-Am Connection. And this one's going to go 14. Here are the Islanders. Here are the Can-Am Connection. We can auto-name this one. Yes. Grilla Monsoon, Lord Alfred Hayes, and none. And I'll tell you what. How about we leave this one open-ended? See what happens. All right, now we have a Bruno San Martino promo. This one should be huge. Bruno is as big as you can possibly get in this area, everybody. So this should be outstanding. Here is Bruno San Martino. He's talking to Gorilla Monsoon. And in this case, he's talking about the Honky Tonk Man. And of course, he's listed just under Honky Tonk Man. All right, entertainment, off screen, none booked. Yes. And here we go with our big main event here, everybody. San Martino versus Honky Tonk Man. And it's four. The big one, the Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. Here is San Martino. Here is Honky. Here is the title on the line. And Bruno San Martino is going to get that win. It is going to come via countout. Gorilla Monsoon, Lord Alfred Hayes, and none. All right, we're ready to rock here, everybody. Let's start the show. Let's see how we do. All right, Roma with the win over Shadow number one. We have Jimmy Powers getting the win over Shadow number two. We have the gang getting the win over Omar Atlas with that 747. You... Sorry about that, everybody. Had some minor... Technical difficulties there, and those technical difficulties included my pizza showing up earlier than I thought it would. So here we go. One man gang with the win here over Omar Atlas. And up next, we have Jerry Allen in there against Bob Orton. It's a decent score here, a 70. Bob Orton gets that win with the superplex. Good stuff. Up next, Hulk Hogan cuts his promo. 99, everybody. That's doing it and doing it right. 99. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. See if there's any takeaways. There's not any takeaways for the lack of an announcer thing, so that's good. Up next here we have Scott Casey and Dino Bravo. This one gets another good score here, 74 overall. Bravo gets that win with the side suplex. Scott Casey could go. What's hurting him here is probably the fact that he's not very popular here in the New England region. All right, up next here we have Johnny V and Brutus Beefcake. And these two manage to squeeze out a 69 here, 61. The 71 gets us a 69, and we'll take it. Good stuff. All right, up next, we have the Honky Tonk Man cutting a 79 promo here with Gorilla Monsoon. I was hoping for a little bit more, but I'll take it. 79 is a pretty good promo for Honky. And that overwhelmed by manager thing's a little goofy. All right, up next here, we have Tito Santana and the Magnificent Morocco there. Uh, Santana's disqualification win here 
Nets an 81 here. 80 and 83 gets an 81. That's fair enough. Let's see if there's any takeaways here. There's not, so we're good. All right, up next, we have the Islanders and the Can-Am connection. The Can-Ams get the win over the Islanders when Zank, who's about ready to go MIA, wins with that missile dropkick. These two are also engaged in a feud, so this makes their feud continue on here. And good stuff. 92, 72, 78, 58. Quite a bit of disparity between the partners and the teams. That's all right. We'll take it. All right, up next here, we have our big Bruno San Martino promo. 85 overall, everybody. And that's exactly what you would get in New England in 1987 with San Martino's last comeback. All right, 85 overall. And up next here comes our main event. It's a big 92, and that's because of the immense popularity of Bruno San Martino. And San Martino is getting his penalties here. This is what you get. We got a lot of things going in our favor here, everybody. A lot of things going in our favor, which boosts up this score to a 92. Outstanding score here. Really good stuff. 92 overall for this one. And it's saying, of course, you know, we only got 15,900. That's BS. This would have been a sellout. All right, we're going to finish this one up. No need to cut speeches here. And this will take us back to our tour which is going to be at the Rosemont Horizon in Chicago next. And here we go, getting ready to load here. Load, load, load. All right, we're back to the main screen here. Let's take a look. Spotlight gets a low rating, of course. Superstars gets a huge rating, 4.6 million viewers. And Boston Garden last night got 519,000 viewers. Good stuff. Shadow number one, Randy Colley is tired again. I'm not surprised. Rocky Johnson got divorced. Imagine that. AWA and CWF are friendly, which is good stuff. Who's Damage Inc.? Oh, WWA. Pretty bad stuff going on there. WWA in 87. So... All right, everybody, that is going to do it for us for this one. For those of you that are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and drop us a message below. For those of you looking for us on social media, you can find us on Facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 Supermod. You can also find us over on Reddit under the subreddit of TEW2020 Friends. Don't forget, we're also on Discord under 1987 Supermod. Check us out on Patreon, everybody. Patreon.com slash Powercast Network for just $5. You will get access to all of our shows early and ad-free. You will also get access to 10.1 of the Supermod and also all of our spreadsheets and so much more, everybody. There's a lot on there on Patreon. People dig it. Check it out today, patreon.com slash Powercast Network. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you back next time.